being an adult is hard. Um, when I'm trying to be a streamer all the goddamn time. I realize now why most streamers are like absolutely terrible adults. Um, it is, I, I feel like I just barely be, like feel like I, I'm on top of everything, but it's tough. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Deep dog. It's tough, yeah. I, I say it again, I had some servants. But like, what are they gonna do? Like, my, my apartment's so fucked, it's so messy anyway because of all the shit I have. Like, they can't magically make space. They're just gonna like dust it, vacuum a little bit, maybe maybe like place some thing, I don't know. Like, I, all the stuff that could be cleaned, I clean. Um, Like, I have to actually get throw away stuff and that's the hard part in Japan is throwing away stuff fucking sucks. Um. Like, I have that suit of armor. What the fuck am I gonna do with that? I'm just sitting in my living room. I, I just... I, what the fuck? I can't throw that away. I have to go to, like, a specialist recycling thing in Japan to get rid of that. I gotta... I gotta auction it off, yeah. <laughs> do something. I don't know. But, dude, shipping that. There's gonna be, like, $400 in shipping whoever gets that. I need to get a studio space. So, I, like, I thought about it for a while. But the thing is, is that um, if I got a studio space, I would never fucking stream at that studio because, dude, I'm so lazy. I like rocking out of bed and streaming in the place where I'm, where I'm at. <laughs> it's very nice. Put it on the GT background. Um, yeah, I don't know though. I don't know. Relatable. These are cooking streams. Makes sense. You see, the thing is, chat, is that you, you don't realize how, and you've probably done this in your own life, right? It's like, it's like if you, like if you sign up to the gym that's nicer, but it's like 15 minutes away instead of two. Like you're like, okay, well the one that two minutes away sucked, but you, you thought you would go to the gym that's further away or more because it's nicer, but then you ended up just not going because it's a 15 minute walk and you're, and you're lazy, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not, maybe not everyone. I'm lazy as fuck. And I know that, if something, like, I, I'm just realistic with myself as well, and I know that if I make something that I have to go to a location to do something, uh, there's gonna be way less chance I'm gonna do it. Um, but that being said, I, 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 I like working out in the gym more than the home gym. That's not, that's not a plan to this, but like a studio, dude, it's not, I, I would stream way less. You have a workspace separate from where you sleep? Yeah, that's, that's, that's why I like this, though. This is perfect. Having a different room in my house that is for work, and then I, if I don't want to, I don't need to go in the workroom. Um, and, and then I can separate myself from work. Why don't you drive the 15 minute? That sounds awful. <laughs> don't you have a standing desk? I do have a standing desk. It's, it's, uh, I use it occasionally, mainly when I'm like writing emails, playing TFT. This is fun. Home office is the best. Yeah, this goes, this goes, this is a good space. I do kind of want a bigger space to do more stuff have more options um and I, I think we could do more interesting things um but maybe not in the immediate future maybe that's down the line i need to get like a fuck ton of money so that i can buy some land or something in japan and then build like a house or something and then get a massive space that's the that's the the real thing um so yeah rent an organizer you, so in Japan as a foreigner, you until you get permanent residency, or I think may some visas can get it, you can't get a mortgage. Um, so if you want to buy a house, uh, you have to buy it in cash. So you'd have to have like an ungodly amount of cash, which is terrifying to think. So one day that's down the line. I'd like a. It'd be nice to have a house, so that I don't have to keep paying rent because I feel like I'm wasting money. But what can you do? What can you do? I want to buy a van house. Sounds interesting. In Japan, yeah. So foreigners can just straight up buy land in Japan. It's it's actually very easy uh, as a foreigner to buy land uh, if you just have the money. But that's the big one. <laughs> it's weird. I you know you you hear so much about Japan and like the weird restrictions they have on foreigners, and it's it's very odd that you would think that they would just be like, oh no, yeah, you can just buy it. Just go ahead and buy land. Just be rich. But pay to win, eh? 
Comes full circle. Comes full circle. In the UK, I'm pretty sure they just hand the mortgage out to anybody who just asks. Uh, they're just like, oh, credit check? No, no, you have my word. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it does feel that way in the UK. <laughs> but what about citizenship? You would have to give up whatever citizenship you have to become a Japanese citizen. Uh, and I'm not really interested in doing that. Uh, I have no interest in becoming a Japanese citizen. Um, just not interested in that at all. I just feel like, why would you... I don't know. Isn't it more expensive for foreigners to own a property? No. You'd be paying the same taxes that a normal person would in Japan. Um, oh yeah. Felix is paid away in the year. He's got, he's got the dream. He, that's, that's what I would like. To be able to rock up to your place and you'd be like, I'm gonna buy a nice house. And then I'll be like, sick. I don't have to pay rent to anyone. Um, uh, yeah. They will still not treat you in I have, like, that's the thing is, I think, um, you truly enjoy Japan when you don't give a fuck about being treated as, like, a, 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 the same as a Jap. I do, I have no interest in, like, being fully treated as a Japanese person. I, it's never going to happen, and I do not care. Uh, I enjoy being polite, doing my own thing, and just vibing. I like being that funny, weird foreigner guy who they talk to who's kind of polite. I'm, a, I, I, I'm pretty polite. I like that. I don't know. I just... <laughs> I, like, I like being a little side character to them. <laughs> I just turn up and I'm like, Hey, guys. And they're like, Oh, you, you speak okay Japanese. Oh, thanks, man. Forever back in Gaijin. Yeah, I have no qualms about that. I enjoy... I, I am completely fine with that. Because then I get to live my best life. I get to be happy. I get to be happy-go-lucky. I get to just be like, Oh, sugoi! <laughs> and like... <laughs> They don't, they don't think too much about me. They don't, they don't like worry. They're like, oh, funny little foreigner guy. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. I like it. I feel like the moment you try to fit in too much and you want to be treated as like a, as like a native Japanese person, I feel like you drive yourself insane because it's just never going to happen. Uh, as Joey can attest to, even though he is natively Japanese, uh, just he doesn't look like one. As an equal. Well, it's like, no, I know it's an equal. It's like... What's the word? It's like, the, if you want to be treated the same way a Japanese person would, in terms of, like, behavior. Not not as, like, any, like, chances or opportunities. I, I don't care about that. Um, assimilate. Yeah, like, assimilating perfectly. Like, I, I could do everything that I need to do in my daily life, and I'm very happy with that. Um, and I can converse in every way that I need to. Uh, very happy with that. Um, uh, but I've no interest in being, like, <laughs> adopted into a Japanese family. Uh, very happy with that. And, you know, I don't offend anyone. I just chill. Do my thing. You're always, like, a tourist, in other words. Well, it's like, I, I guess they would always assume you're a tourist, then you talk a little bit, and then they're like, oh, cool. That's sick. You live here? That's awesome. Do I want to learn more Japanese? I do. I do want to learn more Japanese. Um, I think... You know, I always, <laughs> I always told myself if I just fell off super hard um, that I would just go and join Japanese school, like, full-time. I'd be like, all right, fuck it, I'll just go and puff out my Japanese and just chill out. Um, that would be fun. Uh, but just right now, like, the, the problem is, is that, like, if I was to... Like, I'd have to sacrifice part of my career, and I feel like I'm ultimately prioritizing my career above everything else right now. Uh, because, I mean, it's also what I just enjoy doing the most. Uh, not Korea. Korea. That sounds very similar, actually. Korea. Korea. Um, very similar. I just, yeah, I don't know. I feel like as a YouTuber and a streamer or an entertainer, uh, you, you don't get many chances of this. And especially if you're doing well and it's going good, um, you know, don't sacrifice couriers. Please be nice. You know, chat, sometimes you have a chance to, you won the lottery. <laughs> chat, I, I have a very unique job that has an unknown time limit and I would like to make the most of it whilst I can. Uh, and the reality is, is that I've, I've, 
I have learned enough Japanese where I'm able to do everything I need to do in any daily, in any given situation. Uh, and it's not a priority that I learn more right now. Um, because at any point in time, I can just be like, hey, I'm going to slow down doing what I'm doing, or I can chill out, and I can just go to school and grind it out. I'm not above that. Um, I don't think that, like, I, I don't know, like, I have no qualms against it. I'm not like, <laughs> I've never learned more. It's just like, right now I've got other stuff going on. Uh, as soon as I see gray hair, I'm out. It's coming. It's coming soon, chat. Uh, real great beard. Urology. You know, <laughs> I just, I'd like to have the fact that I, I could, do you know what, chat? I, I just want to be able to buy a house. <laughs> then, then I don't have to worry about housing. You know what I mean? Like, even if I fall off completely, if I have a house, I'm like, all right, well, I got something. I got something to show for it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, how, isn't it crazy? I got to work my ass off, get in, like, get in the 1% of a job that's already for the 1% and, and I still can't afford a fucking house. <laughs> what the fuck? This shit's insane. Actually wild. Actually insane. Tokyo prices be unreal. Uh, so just try my best to be the 1% and own land. <laughs> just, I'm just trying to make the most of it, chat. I'm trying to make the most of it. Kind of lost hope buying a house in our generation. It's fucked, dude. It's like, uh, it, it's insane. Um, I make way more than I should for my age. And, uh, and I, you know, I'm very, very fortunate to do that. And I, I still cannot buy a house in Tokyo. <laughs> it's a fucking insane. <laughs> insane. Wild. You can inherit houses. That's true. Insane. Then rent it. But it's like, it's, it's bullshit. All, all our parents got to get on the, the property ladder and mortgage shit when they were like 25. Unfair. That's how, I guess that's how we live. I guess it's, it's easy to call. I just gotta get on with it. Just gotta do what you gotta do. What you gotta do. You can buy a house in the Philippines. Hey, I've seen the room reviews. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but outside Tokyo, yeah. I mean, just right now, everything I'm doing, Tokyo makes the most sense, fortunately. Uh, does it have to be in Tokyo? Yeah, I mean, like if I if I wanted to, I could just move somewhere else. Um, uh, but yeah. You know, I mean, that's why I like Chris moved to Tokyo as well. It's like everything's here. All the opportunities are here. Right now, I have to do trash taste, which requires me to be in Tokyo. Um, I fly a lot, which requires me to be in Tokyo. Uh, so it's just kind of like sucks. But, you know, you got to be here. Tokyo is the LA of Japan. Yeah, exactly. It's like the New York. It's, it, you know, it's the, it's the city. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just it is what it is. Uh, just try my best. You can also buy a house in Puerto Rico. Uh, yeah, I could buy a house in Wales too, um, which I'm super hyped for because I'd like to move back to Wales when I'm old. That would be nice. Just go back to Wales and fucking chillax. Chill out. Vibe. That'd be chill. Would be nice. Build a house in Antarctica. Well, I think that's more expensive than a house in Tokyo. You're old already. I guess I am. I guess I am old. Next biggest airport city after Tokyo, Osaka. But Osaka is the like it's the only other international airport I think in Japan that does like long haul flights, and it doesn't go to many places. Being in Tokyo is super convenient because I'm flying all the goddamn time, and being within like you know a short uh, you know ride of the airport is very convenient. Ryan Reynolds will own Wales by the time you're back. I know, I know. Oh my goodness. Would you still stream at 80? Oh my god, you're 27 this year. I am 27 this year. That's fucking weird. Because like, throughout my entire YouTube career and streaming, I was always the young one. <laughs> In every group I went to, I was always like the youngest. So now I'm becoming the oldest. Dude, I'm, I'm fucking getting old. I am like one year, uh, so 27. I think this year is my ninth Ninth year of creating content. Eight years, kinda, but it's kind of eight years. Well, it's it's like eight if you start when I started my grind. Nine if you count when I started. That's fucked. Nine years. 
So April, April this year was the eighth year. But I started uploading to YouTube consistently on like June of 2015, but I started my YouTube channel and did occasional uploads, very sporadic, uh, in April 2014. Um, so that's crazy. That's, that's insane. Been doing this for a very long time. <laughs> Not as long as Garn, which is even crazier, because Garn is like, the Garn and like Anthony Padilla are like the two oldest YouTube channels that are like, that have been going for that long that I know of, that are like still going. Um, yeah, Garn is giga OG. I'm jealous, but also I did, I, I would not want it to have started when I was like 15. That would be scary. Smosh, yeah. PewDiePie is a very old YouTuber, but he's not been going as long as like Smosh and uh, Garn. They've been going quite a long time. I'll be happy to get to 10 years. Uh, that sounds kind of cool. You started in 2010. Yeah, didn't Garn start before that? Garn started like 2009, no? Or 12, 13, maybe the same time. Maybe they started at the same time. Garn started in 2006. That's fucked. That's so fucked. <laughs> well, I watched Garn when I was a kid. <laughs> like, when I was like 15. So, I, I, remember, I remember watching Garn's videos. Because Garn was like the... Like, was like gone and like, cause I mainly got into anime YouTube because I watched a lot of it, and I mainly watched like Gaunt and Tristan. And Gaunt was like the guy, but then Gaunt quit. I already said about that. And then, uh, and then there was all the top ten channels back then, which I fucking I just did not like. I always hated top tens. Uh, but they crushed it. They got so many views. I think back then, because everyone's mic and camera was so bad that nobody wanted to see your face or hear from you. So that did really well. Do you remember when fucking top tens were just everything? Uh, even I considered at one point making top tens, because I was like, what the fuck? Why is everyone getting a million views? Um, you think it's too late to start streaming YouTube at your 20s? Absolutely not. No, no, no. Wait, look at Ludwig. You know, Ludwig started pretty late, you know, compared to a lot of content creators and has quickly rose to be one of the biggest, If you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's never too late. Um, you know, obviously there is an advantage to starting early and learning, um, but also there is also, you could also dig yourself into a niche that you feel you can't get out of, that you might not have done if you just started later, you know what I mean? You might feel that you have nothing else you can do, uh, but also you might have a fresh perspective like Pete who comes into the game old. Oh, not old, older, sorry. <laughs> you know, old in YouTube years and Twitch years. Um, and comes into it with a completely fresh perspective um, that really like brings something new, you know? Um, and I think, I think there's merits to both. I think being able, the one massive advantage to getting into it when you're young is that you have a lot of time to learn the basics of like editing, um, fucking up a bunch. That's the massive benefit. When you get into it and you're older, you kind of need to be a lot better. You need to practice a lot more without like, fucking, like you kind of need to just go into it. It's kind of tough. Um, 